Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. I am teacher Mahavish. How are you all students? We are going to study unit number 7 geometry and our topic is adjacent angles and complementary angles. By the end of the lesson, students, you will be able to define the adjacent angles and complementary angles. And also, you can solve how to find the complementary angles. And we will do today adjacent angles, complementary angles, question number four, part C from the exercise 7B, and question number six, part A and C from the 7B. Now, let's define what is adjacent angles. Students, adjacent means saath saath. Agar do cheezein saath saath rakhi hui hain, to we can say that they are adjacent. It means anything that is just before each other is called the adjacent. Here in terms of angle, adjacent angles are the angles that are just before each other. It means two angles are adjacent angles. They have a common arm and a common vertex. Let's see how adjacent angles are look like. In this figure, you can see that. Here is a, it is an angle AOB and COB. We can see that these are the adjacent angle. Why? Because it has one common arm, OB, and they have the one common vertex, that is the O. And it satisfies the definition of the adjacent angles that it should have a common arm in this case, that we have the OB, and it should have a common vertex, and in this case, that we have the O. So we can see that the angle AOB and COB are the adjacent angles. You can think of the adjacent angles as a Two pizza slices next to each other in the box. The corners of the slices are both at the center of the box, so it is a vertex. This is the vertex. The cut where the slices were separated from each other, this cut, is a side that angles here. It means it is a common arm. So we can say that the pizza slices shows the adjacent angles. Now in this window, now in this window, these two lines are meeting at this point, which is called the vertex. And the middle shared lines, which is this, will be a common arm. So these are the two adjacent angles. Now let's see what is the complementary angle. Two angles are complementary if their sum is a 90 degree. These may be adjacent angles or not. If the two angles are sum to have 90 degree, then we have complementary angles. In this case, one angle is 80 and the other is 10. Ka bhi ho sakta hai. In this case, both angles are 45 plus 45. In this case, the angle is 60 plus 30. Ka bhi ho sakta hai. Like, one angle is 60, the other angle is 30. When you sum them, it becomes 90 degrees. Now, let's see what is the complementary angle. Here are some examples. Here on this clock, minute, minute hand is number 12 and hour hand this angle 3. It means the time is at 3 o'clock. When the clock is ticking to 3 o'clock, both hour hand and minute hand made the 90 degree. Now this arm and this arm made angles of some degree. Also, this is a common arm. The, it means the second hand Make the common arm. Add 
this angle and this angle. We get the 90 degree angle. In the pizza, here in the pizza of the eight slices, each slice shows some degree of the angle. When we add these two angles, it has been shown here that these two angles made the 90 degree. So these two angles are the complementary angles. Here we show that some complementary angles. Complementary angles in this figure, x, o, y, and y, o, z. Both are the adjacent angles. Now, x, o, y is of the degree 60, and y, o, z is of the degree 30. And when we add 60 plus 30, we get the answer 90 degree. And this is the same as our definition of the complementary angles that some of the two angles should be the 90 degree. And these complementary angles may or may not be adjacent angles. Now let's come to the question. Now class, find a complementary angle of the given angle 82 degree. Here the given angle is 82 degree. Now we have to find the other angle. So we know that some of these two angles should be the 90 degree. If we know one angle, we can find the other angle by separating it from the 90 degree. Here, what we do? To find other complementary angle, we subtract 82 degree by the 90 degree, and we get the 8 degree. Now here, 82 degree and 8 degrees are complementary angles because when we add these two angles, we get the 90 degree result. Now come to the next question that is find complementary angle X in each of the following right angles. Here right angle show kiya hai, aur humne right angle matlab 90 degree. Aur humne kya karna hai? Isme se dosra angle X nikalna hai. And we know that these are the complementary angles because it is given in the question. Now U O V is a 35 degree and V O W is unknown angle X. What we do, we know that some of these two angles should be the 90 degree. We will place here the 35 degree plus x is equal to 90 degree. And we take the x here and shift the 35 degree with the opposite sign on the other side, 90 minus 35 degree. And uh, what we get here, that, that is the 555. So 35 degree and 55 degree are complementary angles. How we can say that these are the complementary angles because some of the 35 degree and 55 degrees is always 90 degree. What is the next question? Find a complementary angle X in the following right angle. There is a game AOB is a X degree and that is the unknown. And the next BOC angle is a 15 degree. And what we do, we add x plus 15 degree, and the answer should be the 90 degree. And we take the x on the one side and shift the 15 degree with the negative sign on the other side, and we get the 75 degrees. Now here the 15 degrees and 75 degrees are the complementary angles. Recapitulation. Class, we have studied that if two angles have a common arm and a common vertex, that they are called the adjacent angles. On the other side, we have studied that if some of the two angles is 90 degree, then they are called the complementary angles. The other thing, how can we find the complementary angles? If we know one of the complementary angles, we can find the another angle by separating it from the 90 degree. Now it's a quiz time. Class, I will give you the one minute and you will think two examples of the adjacent angles from your surroundings. Take your time. You have the one minute. Look around.
Now, what is the answer? My answer is the open scissors are example of that just a dangles. And three fingers of your hands are also the example of that adjacent angle. Class, now your homework is you will solve the question number four and six from the exercise seven B on your notebooks. Thank you. It's all from my side.